clarifies driving laws on eating, drinking, smoking and five other common questions. From leaving the interior light on, to eating while driving and even what you hang from your rearview mirror. In this video, the RR Foundation for Traffic Safety answers five of the most commonly asked driving laws about eating, drinking, smoking, and more. If you've been struggling to understand the complex driving laws about eating, drinking, and smoking, or any other topic for that matter, then this video is for you. The RR Foundation for Traffic Safety provides concise, easy-to-understand information about some of the most commonly asked driving laws. Watch and learn. You'll be able to understand the laws better and stay safe on the road. Before we start the video if you are new to channel please subscribe our channel for informative videos on various topics. Everyone has probably heard at least one driving myth in their lifetime. Passengers might inform you that it's illegal to do one thing or another, but there's still a lot of confusion about the rules when it comes to several common behaviors. Experts from the RR have helped to debunk some motoring myths and clarify what is actually illegal. They've urged drivers to take note, as some driving misconceptions could even result in fines and penalties. So make sure you're in the know before you get in your car. Here are 8 common driving situations many of us encounter and whether they are legal or illegal. 1. Is it illegal to eat and drive? There's no specific law against eating while driving and you won't be pulled over if you're seen taking a bite out of food. Unless of course that bite stops you paying attention to driving. The AA's poll found that 1 in 10 of us eat while we drive. If you do, the RR says make sure your eating habits don't distract you behind the wheel. If the police think you aren't in proper control, you can be charged with careless driving and this carries a maximum penalty of £5,000, 3 to 9 points on your license and a discretionary driving disqualification. 2. Is it illegal to drink soft drinks or tea, coffee while driving? Just like with eating, there's no law against drinking a soft drink while driving if you aren't distracted by it. So, if you're driving with a hot coffee cup, keep the lid on, as any sudden spills could be enough to cause you to lose control of the car and you could end up with a careless driving fine, as well as a burnt lap. 3. Is it illegal to smoke and drive? It is illegal to smoke in any private vehicle with anyone under 18 present and in company vehicles or vans. If you use your own private vehicle for business, occasionally you're allowed to smoke in it. But if the car has been given to you by your work for the purpose of work, you can't. It's not against the law to smoke in the car in any other circumstances. But the highway code specifically lists smoking as a distraction that can land you with a careless driving charge. 4. Can I drive 10% over the speed limit without breaking the law? The RR experts say, in theory, you break the law if you drive even one mile per hour over the speed limit. But you won't get a ticket because speedometers aren't always 100% accurate, so police allow for this. Plus, it's not safe to drive with your eyes glued to the speedo. RR President Edmund King advises that it's better to keep your eyes on the road. The National Police Chiefs Council recommends only giving a speeding ticket if you top the limit by 10% plus 2. So that would mean driving 35 miles per hour in a 30 miles per hour zone. However, this is up to individual police officers to decide, so there's no guarantee they'll let you off. The best way to make sure you don't get caught by a police officer or speed camera is to drive carefully and try to stick to the limit. 5. Is it illegal to drive in certain types of shoes, like heels, sliders, boots, or even barefoot? When choosing which shoes you drive in, you need to be able to operate the pedals safely without your footwear, or lack of, making it difficult. Rule 97 of the Highway Code makes it clear that drivers must have footwear and clothing which does not prevent them using the controls in the correct manner. So while it's not illegal to drive in heels or sliders, it's suggested you drive in more sensible shoes and change when you get to your destination. 6. Will I get in trouble if I drive with the interior light on? Here's one you've probably heard before. It's very possible that at some point as a child your parents told you that turning the car's inside lights on while driving was a crime. It's something which lots of people think is a fact but there's no law against driving with your interior lights on. 
At night, however, it can be distracting or interfere with your vision by reflecting off of the inside of the windscreen. If you're pulled over and it's decided that your light was a probable cause in any bad driving, you can expect to get a careless driving charge. So it's probably best to do as your parents said and keep it off. 7. Can I get a fine for listening to loud music? Rule 148 of the Highway Code states that safe driving and riding needs concentration. So all distractions should be avoided. Listening to loud music is included as a potential distraction. Therefore, it's strongly recommended that you avoid doing anything that could slow your reaction times and cause an otherwise avoidable accident. 8. Can my car fail its MOT because of dangling items on my rear view mirror? The RR experts say, yes, they can. Obstruction of more than 4 cm could land you with a failed MOT. But realistically you'll probably be told by your mechanic to remove the item attached to your rear view mirror before the MOT takes place. Our survey revealed that 5% of drivers had things dangling from their rear view mirrors which could create a blind spot. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. And please don't forget like, share and comment.